Potato farmers in Nakuru County, one of Kenya's largest potato producing areas, lose close to 3 billion shillings annually in post-harvest losses occasioned by poor handling and shortage of storage facilities. The World Bank's four-year program is targeting to decrease post-harvest losses in the agriculture subsector by enhancing investments in the potato value addition. The program will also see construction of storage facilities in order to cushion farmers from losses and price fluctuations during bumper harvest which middlemen often take advantage of. Rarely do you get a special place where potatoes are kept. You'll find potatoes under the bed, you'll find potatoes kept here and there and the rats and the rotting happens. We experience over 40 percent of post-harvest losses for potato. Innovators have been urged to come up with mobile phone applications that can give potato farmers adequate weather predictions, market trends and other valuable agriculture information to boost potato yields in the country. Exciting would it be that every morning you have a text telling you kutanyesha, hakutanyesha, kutanyesha kesho, just like the way we do with the Mpesa. These are spaces, especially for the youth, to think about creating apps that can help us be able to extend this information easily, efficiently and cheaply to our farmers. This as Nakuru County government admits to have failed in implementing the government's directive that bans selling of potatoes in more than 50 kg bags, blaming the middlemen for floating the laws. The matter of different weights, different standards, different packaging, I think should come to an end. Is it possible for us to think about an Nakuru brand for potato? Can we get a sack that has a color, a shape, maybe a brand that says this potato is from Nakuru County. Last year, farmers in Nakuru sold 541,000 metric tons of potatoes, netting 9.4 billion shillings in sales with post-harvest losses of the crop exceeding 40%.